push-ups just like the plank variations we're gonna go through push-up variations and we're gonna start with the most like basic um, beginner to like intermediate advanced and we'll just go make our way, make our way down um, so planks and push-ups kind of like they're very similar right um, in the sense of like you're in literally in the same position um, except ones on your elbows ones on your forearm on your arms but it's essentially a very similar movement um, and a lot of the movement patterns and the cues that you do for a plank will be the same for a push-up and then back and forth um, so if you can have a nice strong you know plank it's going to kind of transfer over to your push-up and then again if you have a nice strong push-up it's going to help you with those planks so don't sleep on the body weight movements they're really really important um, and yeah let's just get after it so the first one very similar to the plank, the easiest way to do a push-up is elevated, okay? So same kind of movement pattern, right? So your hands are going to be directly underneath your chest. Um, you don't want them flared out. You kind of want them tucked closer, closer to your body, but also not like pressing up against your body. Um, and then your your um, core needs to be nice and stable. Um, tushy's kind of tucked, right? We don't want it like up in the air. So yeah, let's just go for it. Here, hands are about hip width or shoulder width apart. And then we just lower as far down to the um, bench or whatever it is you have as you can and then you push yourself back up okay so if you need to come up a little bit higher to make it easier go for it or if you need to do like you won't be able to go as far down that's fine too just work your way down in depth okay so don't move on from elevated push-ups until you can get all the way down with good depth and then you can move on okay so next is just a regular push-up right, bring my cheat sheet all right, so we know the drill here. So up on our toes, hands shoulder width apart, hands directly underneath the chest. And then we lower to the ground and push ourselves up. Okay, and then next we have pause push-ups. So these are all literally just variations. They're ways to make the movement slightly more challenging, but then also slightly more interesting, you know? So you can do different variations. You don't get so bored and stale with your, um, your workout routine. Okay, so let's get it. Pause push-ups. We just pause at the bottom for like half a second. You don't let your body actually like fall. You're holding yourself up down there for like three seconds and then you push yourself up, okay? So. Okay, so now the next one, we have one and a half push-ups. Now, listen, when I tell you I would rather do weighted push-ups than one and a half push-ups, I'm not kidding. There's something about one and a half push-ups that just like destroys you. But anyways, um, so basically you go, so you start in the up position, you go down halfway, come up, down all the way, push yourself up. Okay? Okay. Let's go. So we go down. One. So yes, next we have deficit push-ups. So deficit push-ups is you are on a surface that is going to elevate your arms while still allowing your chest to go down. So you're creating like a deficit, all right? So I just grabbed dumbbells. Um, you can use those like push-up blocks if you want, or um, if I have bigger dumbbells and they have flat ends like these do, I like to go like this, all right? But we're just gonna use them on the handles. This will give us a little deficit. And yeah, you just come down. Um, so yeah, that's just gonna give you a little bit extra range of motion and make it a little bit harder because you're getting more range of motion. So then next we have decline push-ups. So decline push-ups, your feet are up and you're at a decline. That makes sense. So we're gonna give this a go. See if I don't bust my butt on this chair. Your forearm is the same, boom. Nice tight core and we're down. Okay. All right. Next we have, oh, I don't know if I lied. Actually, they just keep getting worse. Diamond push-ups. <laughs> so diamond push-ups are, um, they're gonna get in your triceps a lot just because your arm placement, so your arms are gonna be closer together and your elbows are gonna be coming out, so you're gonna really hit those triceps. I think some people call them tricep push-ups, but I call them diamond because you make your hand into a diamond, and that's just how I was taught when I first learned them. So, diamond push-up, same thing, guys. We're just, arm is into a diamond, we're here up on our toes, and then we're going to lower and push ourselves up. Okay. And 
And next we have a single leg push-up. So just like our plank, remember these are getting very similar, right? So single leg push-up, same thing. You are on one leg, buddy. Yeah. So unlike the um, single leg plank, you don't really need to alternate. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, All right, piked. So piked push-ups are interesting, especially if you want to get some handstands in. Um, you're in a piked position. So it's almost like, I don't know, maybe like a half a handstand, but you're in like a piked position. Your butt is way up in the air like this, and then you're doing push-ups. So it's really gonna hit more of like the shoulder area, but again, it's just another variation of push-ups, okay? So here, all right, feet close, butt up, and then you just push up. So the top of your head, the top of your head is aiming for like the ground. Okay, too easy. What next? We have push up and a shoulder tap. So kind of like the shoulder taps I showed you for the planks, very similar, except you add a push up. So again, this will give you more like time under tension and then just a different variation, make it slightly more challenging. Okay, so you go down and then you come up for a tap. All right, all right, cool cats and last, but certainly not least, weighted push-ups. So again, you're gonna wanna use either a weighted vest, that would be the best bet. That way, there's no, the least, the least cause of injury would be with weighted vest. Um, but you can use like a small plate at the gym, just have someone help you put it on your back, or I'm gonna show you how I do it. And I normally use like the round plates, I just don't have any at home, so I'm using a dumbbell. But same thing, so we're here. Start at the bottom, I like to start at the bottom. All right, hands in proper placement, nice tight core, and push. All right, I don't like using a dumbbell, it kind of rolls. But that was really all of them. I probably missed a couple, so it's fine, but that's just like a pretty good explanation of, you know, all the different variations of push-ups. And I will put them in the description because I know I went through them kind of fast. So. Um, but yeah, but if you have any questions, you can always shoot me a message. Okay, bye.